Okay, welcome back everyone. It is Michael here with Offshore Citizen and we in the previous video did a little game of where is Michael? So now we're doing video two, uh, recording back to back here and we will discuss where I am, which is uh, the country of Ireland. So for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Ireland, great place, wonderful people, very friendly, very helpful, uh, like to have fun. Uh, the Scots also really good, big fan. Uh, obviously, Ireland is fairly well known by some people within kind of this world of tax and structuring for the fact that Apple and many others famously had structures here, the Devil Irish, uh, as it was called for a long period of time. That's mostly gone, and I've kind of done some videos talking about that as well as discussing some of the tax planning. Companies-wise, it's not bad. We'll talk about that maybe in a future video, 12.5% tax. But today I'm going to talk about an exemption that probably doesn't apply to most people, but it's still interesting, which is the artist's exemption to potentially pay no tax, at least on uh, certain income or a portion of income that is, you know, kind of, uh, kind of useful, kind of interesting. Mostly doesn't apply to everyone, but on the other hand, it shows kind of one sign of uh, things that are good in Ireland. If you haven't been here, definitely recommend, I mean, I always recommend people check out the world. I think it's really good to see and experience different places. I'm here in Dublin. This being said, uh, you know, Dublin's an okay place to visit, uh, but going up to the Cliffs of Moher would be highly recommended. Really, really nice area. Uh, spectacular, probably some of the most famous cliffs in the world. There are a number of flies there, so uh, you may want to take a boat uh, to view it from, from the base. That could be a cool way to go, uh, but you can also go and, uh, you know, whether you take a tour or you drive up there, etc. It is uh, a spectacular place to be. I would recommend coming in the summer because, well, the weather and the fog, etc., is not so great in the winter. Anyway, let's dive in and talk about this artist exemption because it's something that not many people talk about, but for the right person could be useful. How artists could potentially pay no tax in Europe. All right. Before we do, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell. Thank you for subscribing, for checking things out. If you'd like help with relocating abroad, with getting residencies, citizenships, paying the lowest legal amount of tax possible, etc., we can help you with all of those things, both on the solution side of what is the best solution for you, as well as on the implementation side of actually setting these things up. So happy to help you with that. You can reach out to me, you can book a call, calendly.com forward slash Michael Dash Rosmer, there's a link in the description below, or send a message through our websites, offshorecitizen.net and offshorecapitalist.com. And it's starting to rain here, so we'll see how uh, quick we can be or if I can, you know, avoid getting too wet. Anyway, so uh, there is a thing in Ireland for artists. Uh, it has some similarities, I guess, to what they have in uh, Italy. Italy, it's uh, sale of artistic works. Here for playwrights, authors, artists, songwrites, uh, sculptors, you can get a, uh, oh, yeah, definitely getting, uh, getting wet here. Let's see, where should I go? Over here. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can get an exemption from, uh, from tax. Now, you need to have, there needs to be what they call artistic or uh, cultural merit. And so, you know, that's not something that everybody's work will uh, get. It usually is tougher if you're talking about things that are going to be uh, uh, like nonfiction. There are some ways that you can get nonfiction, but more difficult. There has to be some approval. Now it's only 50,000 euros per year and you have to apply each year. But that being said, I mean, it's a, it's a nice exemption. And so for somebody who is in these areas, who is, uh, Okay, now we are under the trees, and so it is a little bit better. All right, um, so yeah, for anyone who is uh, an artist, a playwright, a songwriter, uh, etc., or that you could somehow generate income that way, it is something that you may want to check out. And otherwise, people might ask, well, should you come and do something in Ireland? Personal tax, I've done a video previously on the tax rules in Ireland. For personal taxes, it's not great. For business taxes, it's fairly decent, 12.5%. Uh, however, banking for foreigners is difficult. Not, uh, not a ton of options there, although you could uh, have a company that banks abroad elsewhere. And so, 
is it the right situation? It's rarely, I mean, in all honesty, we set up companies for clients in well over 60 countries. We deal with all kinds of jurisdictions around the world. And I can tell you, we very, very rarely use Irish companies. It's rarely the best option, but in some cases it might be right for you. And so it is something to consider when you're doing your planning. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because it is raining, but uh, hopefully the artist exemption thing is interesting. If you have questions, put them in the comments below and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video.